Hi there, and welcome back to Triplicate and uh, Snowflake Fairy Lights. Now, in this part of the world, fairy lights are basically Christmas lights, it's about the only time we use them. And these are um, like basically snowflake fairy lights, we turn them on. So, these probably all need fiddling with. Fluffy bits and the lights make it look like illuminated snowflakes a bit. Um, and I bought these, goodness knows, probably in, at some point in the late 90s, just before um, everybody went over to LEDs. Uh, so I originally bought two sets. So I said, uh, well, one or two bulbs started going and I've struggled to get new bulbs so I said right well we'll use the bulbs out of one set to keep the other set going uh, and now we're getting to the point where there's only two or three bulbs left in the spare set um, but you know these things become family heirlooms almost so um, I plan to try and get hold of some replacement bulbs and uh, have a look at these as well. Now, before Christmas, um, Fran Blanche did a, a video on these lights where if these lights actually blow, um, the rest of the lights stay in and they're all in series. Let me see. They're all knotted together and you see that one's in series and they all run off mains so there's all lots of mains going around here so it was uh, nice when we went over to LEDs and there's a power supply and all this wiring only has a few volts in it anyway um, and I don't think she really answered the question as to how these lights work what what happens when the bulb blows how they continue to to pass current through and Technology Connections did a, a, a video complaining about LEDs being harsh, the blue LEDs being a harsh colour, which is fair enough. But also, interestingly, in the States, I discover even LEDs have, where you have LEDs, they're still mounted in these little bulb holder things. Oh, I'm going to need to do that. I'll just wreck the bulb. Whereas Certainly in Europe they're just soldered in a long line and if one of the LEDs blows that's the end of your lights because they reckon the LEDs don't ever blow. So in this video we're going to do two things. We're going to see if we can get... Uh, put it back in the holder and it's stuck again. Some more of these. And then we're going to see if we can find out how they work so that when the filament blows they still conduct electricity so the rest of the lights continue to work so first up let's see if we can order some more of these okay so looking all on good old eBay for uh, fairy lights Christmas light bulb replacement bulbs uh, we've got a selection of here, we've got RBY735, we've got RBY735, RBY1284, uh, they're not saying, RB406, RLC2424, uh, and they do many many types, let's have a look at these. code volts watts so there are a lot of types a lot of types so we need to 
find out what our bulbs is. First thing I notice they have a voltage and a wattage. So that will be a start. Uh, let's find out our voltage and wattage. Okay, so we have them all laid out in line here, so we should be able to count them. They're all in series and we've got 240 volts coming in here. So the voltage across each is 240 divided by the number we've got. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 240 over 20 is 12. So we know they are 12 volts. So the power we can calculate fairly easily simply by connecting a, a power supply to one with 12 volts coming out of it and measuring the current. I have here one of the bulb holders out of the other set which I just hacked out of the other set because we're never going to resurrect the other set I don't think uh, because the uh, these things break so now even if we get bulbs these are the limiting factor and those bulb those holder things go so rather than just banging 12 volts across it I have 3 volts and on 3 volts we get a very dim orange glow so let's so there we go 12 volts 53 milliamps okay so we can work out our power okay so we have power is volts times amps which is 12 times 0 0.053 equals 0 0.636 of a watt hmm right well we know that power now about two-thirds of a watt okay so let's see if we can uh, find a suitable bulb right so nothing ever simple uh, seemingly when I start to look into it anyway I've been all over the internet Mr Google has had to go and have a, a lie down in the dark for half an hour to recover and I cannot find any specs, dimensions, etc. on these bulbs. Uh, and I'm forming the impression that every manufacturer uh, who made Christmas lights back in the day uh, made their own bulbs. So you can have these uh, Premier bulbs, is that right? Premier, and there are Alderbrook bulbs. Uh, which look the same and are probably different and Woolworths bulbs now if you're British and over 30 it will probably bring back memories Woolworths because they went out of business in 2008 I think so also I suspect that all this lot is actually new old stock I'm not sure anybody is making these things anymore um, so further investigation showed me well investigation looking on ebay these which seem like the ideal solution just change the bulbs out from the plastic bases we have because they're just uh the wires are just pushed through and folded over but these are actually no good because there's seven volts and they're oof nearly 18 pounds a go which i'm not paying for five bulbs sorry <sighs> so what am I going to do well okay so here we have some that look like mine uh, the Premier RBY 1284 and if we go down here 
They are 12 volts 0.84 of a watt against 0.64 of ours, so they're going to be a bit dim and all the others are going to be a bit bright and blow a bit quicker, but what can we do? Uh, the the uh, whole lot were going in the bin anyway when I ran out of bulbs, so we might as well have a have a look and see how it works. So there are those RBY 1284s. So I shall order a pack of these and we will see if they fit. Uh, and if they don't, we can always pull the bulbs out of the plastic bases and try and put the bulbs into our existing plastic bases. So here we go. Buy it now. Okay, some while later, I've been held up with other things like doing other videos, but here they are, and they are 12 volts, 0.84 watts, pack of five, five to 12 volts. Okay, manufactured in, imported by Premier Decorations Limited. Okay, so should we get one of these out to see if it fits? Right, out it comes. So that's the new one. And this is the old one, which I shall take out of this holder. Does it look the same? Ish. Shall we try it? And just put it in. Oh! <laughs> Kinda, sorta. Well, shall we power it up and see if it does actually, although it's not exactly the same, whether it'll actually work. Okay, but these new old bulbs are 0.84 of a watt instead of 0.66 of a watt. So what is going to be the effect of mixing the two? Well, um, the old, they're both 12 volts, so the old old bulb has a resistance of 218, uh, 18, 218 ohms near as what's it. And the new bulb has a resistance of 171 ohms. So here we have uh, the number of new bulbs. Uh, we have a total of 20 bulbs, 22 ohms make, volts making 240. Uh, from not new bulbs to 20 new bulbs uh, so the new bulb resistance is of course the resistance times the number of bulbs new bulbs the old bulb resistance total is the uh, number of old bulbs times the resistance per old bulb and then the two resi the total resistance is the sum of those so dividing that into 240 we get the current and again f feeding the current uh, the current and resistance into this equation well, we can get the power per bulb for old bulbs and new bulbs and, and you can see once you get up here the old bulbs are drawing a watt uh, instead of two-thirds of a watt so I suspect once we get into more than half new bulbs the whole bulbs aren't going to last very long okay here we are and it works so There we go, uh, and it, well, it's, if you push it in hard enough it's right, they'll do, they'll do, I keep the old ones and salvage the old bases, but for that I don't think I'll bother. Right, we are good to go. And of course another factor in that calculation uh, is that bulbs don't have a constant resistance uh, with the voltage across them because the more voltage you put across them the hotter they get and the resistance goes up. So shall we 
uh, have a look at that from purely for interest really. So those are the volts. Volts, uh, amps. Uh, well we'll go milliamps. So 12 is 63. Hold on. 11 is 60. 10 is 57. 9 is 53. 8 is 49. 7 is 45. 6 is 41. 5 is 36. 4 is 31. 3 is 25. 2 is 19. 1 is 11. And of course, no volts is no amps. And you don't get a lot of light out at one volt. Okay, shall we plot those out? Okay, here I have blotted it out. And you can see this is uh, quite a curve. And the resistance at one volt is 91 ohms. And the resistance at 12 volts is 190 ohms. And even more interesting, uh, if we increase the voltage between 0 and 1 volts, uh, we get 11 extra milliamps. If we increase the voltage between 11 and 12 volts, we only get 3 extra milliamps. And it's because the, the element is heating up and the resistance is going up a lot. The element, the filament. Okay, so that's just interesting to see. And... Uh, I guess the important thing, which we haven't done yet, is to plug one of the new volts into the working uh, string of lights and see if uh, they behave themselves. Anything sensible happens. Okay, here we are. Uh, I think I should probably turn some other lights off. You'll be able to see these better. Okay, so this is an old working bulb. So there we go. Uh, that and this is the new uh, bulb um, which will be running at slightly different slightly lower power and if we compare it to one of the old bulbs ah, I don't see if we can there you go. Which one is which? That's the new. That's the new one, and it is a bit dimmer, but we can live with it. If it keeps the ridiculous snowflake thing he's going, we can live with it. Okay, so we can get spare bulbs for our lights. Um, so we can keep them going a bit more. But I think in the end, these things will actually be the death of these snowflake lights because this plastic over time. It's in the sun such as you get in December, this part of the world, which is not a lot. And it gets warm and it just gets old and this is what happens. The plastic just gets brittle. And you see there's just bits coming off it. So that's going to be the end of those. But that won't be for a good while yet, hopefully. Well, traditional family Christmas decorations. Right, I think I'm going to end this video here uh, and we will have another video in which we will look at uh, why these bulbs still conduct when they blow and the rest of the lights stay on. Because it's something that's always intrigued me and I aim to find out. So two videos on fairy lights is it worth it? Probably not, but um, it's something that intrigued me and I think there's two videos worth of interest for me anyway. I don't know about any of the rest of you. Uh, so there we have our set of lights ready for next year. Here we have a bunch of detritus which will go in the bin. I have some rather more bulbs than I thought I had spare, uh, which will go for spares. And uh, yeah, so we will see you on the next video and have a further look at how uh, fairy lights still 
keep the rest of the lights working when they blow. Uh, so uh, until then, or the next one, if that's not the next one, it's uh, goodbye from Triplicate. Goodbye.